Okay, today you will learn how to make Brighton honeycomb. Okay, so these weaves have some characteristics like means both sides will not give the similar appearance uh, for this design. Yeah, like in case of honeycomb, it is almost similar effect. Yeah, both sides. Yeah, and uh, normally the number of uh, design size like say this one is having a 16 by 16 design so for the 16 by 16 you need a 16 hill loom means without 16 hill loom you cannot make this design so whatever is the design size that should be the number of hits yeah uh, normally the repeat size should be multiple of four yeah around minimum i think is around eight without uh, that you you cannot make the brighton honeycomb so like 8 12 uh, 16 20 yeah normally we, we make it okay so length of the longest port should should be equal to total number of uh, repeat size like here it is 16 so 16 divided by 2 minus 1 I, I, I show you here 16 by 2 minus 1 so uh, maximum number of float for this design would be 7 okay actually this is a combination of some diagonal lines and a diamond to it okay we'll see how to make it so first we should uh, add the corner from the left side uh, to the right side okay just add this corner okay now from this side to this side but not the center one we just skip one like this one and also you need to skip at this side also that means two two lines diagonal lines from this side you have to connect okay now we need to mark the uh, float so only will consider these double lines right? like this one this one okay so one two three four five six and seven so you need to mark it like this so same way you should mark one two three four five six seven here also one so always count this one one okay don't count from here so one two three four five six seven okay and last is not this side this one so we are just doing everything with this double line okay one two three four five six seven okay so once you made this thing then we need to make this one a diamond okay you know how to make the diamond i already taught you so i just completed a diamond shape so you can see one two three four five six seven so maximum in this design maximum float length will be seven okay now complete it as a diamond like this one like this one just i complete it as a diamond and this one you can see this this one becomes a diamond okay same thing we need to do it here here okay so just fill the diamond okay this so now from the bottom, bottom side okay so your diamond is ready so you can see this line is the green line also in this diamond so this is one diamond this is another diamond now we need to make another diamond this side okay also you can see this is seven so just complete this diamond okay so 
this is half diamond we can get here also we need to complete this half diamond here Okay, this is another half. So rest half diamond it should be come from come to here. So this should be from here to this portion. Actually, this portion would be here. Okay. So we should consider just take this way. Okay. This line it will be here. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one. Okay. So if I yeah, I will show you afterwards. Once I copy it, this would be also a diamond. Same thing it would be here. So this line, this entire line come here. Okay. So we should take it exactly in the same position. Same. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 3 and 1. So now let's see if I repeat it, how it looks like. I just just repeat this one you can see okay so you can see this half is combining with this make a full diamond okay and same thing if you if you copy it also this side So you will see such kind of uh, design effect on the fabric, okay? So this is your heading one to a uh, sorry, uh, it's it's your uh, a bright and honeycomb twin, a bright and honeycomb design, okay? So I hope you understand it. Okay. Thank you.